Europe's food system is broken. Industrial practices dominate the food supply chain, where producers use large amounts of synthetic fertilizers and pesticides while relying on very few species of plants. Genetically modified seeds fit well into these high input systems. In the hands of agrochemical corporations, this is a highly profitable business model that damages soil health and biodiversity and accelerates climate change. Traditionally, farmers and plant breeders created new plant varieties by crossing and selecting plants with desired characteristics. But to accelerate these breeding processes and obtain new traits like herbicide tolerance and patents on genetic material, scientists began isolating DNA from one organism and introducing it into another one. That's genetic modification creating GMOs. To prevent unwanted side effects from impacting the environment and to protect human health, the EU's GMO regulation established standards for biosafety and consumer information in Europe, with the precautionary principle at its core. Technologies are constantly evolving, and new genetic engineering techniques, such as CRISPR-Cas, which allow a direct modification of the DNA of a living organism, rather than the insertion of another organism's genes, can be useful for researchers in some fields. But such gene editing is still genetic engineering, and as with any new technology, we need to be cautious. Rigorous safety assessments and transparent information are therefore essential. We can choose which path we take in the future. Would you choose a food and agriculture system based on industrial intensification, corporate control and technological quick fixes while continuing with business as usual otherwise? Or one that looks at the agro-ecosystem holistically, in which farmers and breeders participate in the breeding process, trying to build on biodiversity and interactions between organisms that already take place in nature? Organic agriculture has a positive impact on food sovereignty, biodiversity, water and soil quality, growers' and farmers' health, and animal welfare. We need to scale up agroecological practices that already deliver proven benefits for the environment. Quick fixes like novel genomic techniques are a distraction from the real solutions we need to make our agricultural systems sustainable. It's crucial to keep the current legal framework for GMOs as a baseline for dealing with new genetic engineering techniques, enabling farmers to verify whether a plant is a GMO or not through traceability and providing a clear labeling scheme for consumers.